meet again. Oh look, I'm in exactly the same place wearing exactly the same thing as the last video. That's because I've just filmed it. And again, I'm very sorry for being so delayed in my videos. Shall we, shall we begin? Probably should. Welcome to weeks 20 to 22 of my pregnancy. So, the symptoms so far for weeks 20 to 22. Now I've put on here visible veins, but by that I'd mean, like, I don't mean varicose veins, I just mean that they they kind of show up sometimes. But again, that goes hand in hand with the swelling and the hands and feet, which, like I said in the last video, I think is more to do with the heat and the temperature here, um, as we are in the summer now, kind of, vaguely, when it decides to be summery, um, rather than anything to do with the pregnancy. I'm not concerned, I don't seem to have any other signs of uh, preeclampsia pre -eclampsia. and uh, when I cool down the swelling goes down um, so I think I'm okay. Um, again digestive issues I think that's going to be a continuing theme throughout the pregnancy. Morning sickness still has not gone away. Um, it's not as bad as it was but first thing in the morning I have to eat before I get out of bed or at least very uh, very quickly um, because I just feel rough and if I get my, if I let myself get hungry it can turn all of a sudden to just feeling really nauseous um, yeah that's lovely but I've mainly got it under control and I pretty much always have snacks with me if I'm out and about I'll have a cereal bar or something in my bag so hopefully that can stave it off long enough until I can sort out the hunger so yeah, hunger is another thing I put on here. Um, increased appetite, again, I am eating a lot. Um, before doing, before doing this, before being pregnant, um, prob well, probably since before Christmas, I was on quite a, a, a strict diet because I ate what I wanted, but it was very healthy. But I probably, I wasn't eating 2000 calories a day. So, um, I guess just the jump up in eating normal food now has made quite a big difference. Um, so yeah, but I'm probably eating more than that most days, which is not necessarily a good thing because I'm not in the third trimester yet, so shouldn't be eating more. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to make sure I eat more, um, vegetables and fruit than I was in the first trimester because that was mainly carbs. Sure, yeah. Uh, hip pain when sleeping. Now, I can't seem to get away from this. I sleep on my side and I've got a pregnancy pillow and I've got another pillow. I sleep with them between my legs. Um, we've got a memory foam mattress that's nice and soft. I've got a little pillow fortress going on and I just get pain in my hips. So then I'll flip over to the other side and then get pain in those on that side and I have to switch back over. Um, I know obviously your joints loosen and things, but I've got another however long <laughs> of, of hip pain. Like when I'm up and about, it's fine, but just at night, they really hurt. Um, frequent urination. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, baby's starting to kind of obviously get bigger, therefore causing more pressure on my bladder. Um, and I am drinking a lot. I'm drinking at least 10 glasses of water a day. Or five pints. Um, yeah. Occasional backache still. Just getting that. Not as bad, I think. I've kind of that seemed to be more in the last sort of section, so week seventeen to nineteen. It doesn't seem as bad now. Um, whether I'm just doing more exercises to kind of help that. Um, week twenty two though, I've started to get acid reflux. I think that's what it is. I've never had it before, so I don't really know. But kind of getting a bit of a sicky feeling. Um, sort of in my... Esophagus? Is that the food one? Yeah. I think so. Anyway. Um, and also... <laughs> I've got a really hairy belly now. <laughs> Apparently that's a thing some people get. <laughs> So, yeah, I've noticed it's got quite a bit more fluffy. But hey-ho, that doesn't majorly affect me <laughs> in normal life. 
So measurements of the baby. So week 20, this is again from Pregnancy Plus, um, the app that I've been using the whole way through. So it says week 20, baby is the size of a mango, which is 10.08 inches. Note, we are now measuring from crown to heel. So it's quite a little bit bigger. Whereas if we go from the Pregnancy Bible book, um, week 20 says, Baby measures 14 to 16 centimetres, which is five and a half to six and a half inches from crown to rump and weighs about 250 grams, no, 255 grams, nine ounces. So yeah, that's five and a half to six and a half inches here, whereas 10.08 inches here. But I like these because then it's like, okay, that's the actual size of the baby outstretched. Although she's probably not really that outstretched most of the time in there. Week 21. Again, Pregnancy Plus, from crown to heel, says she's the size of a cantaloupe, which is 10.51 inches. The book says, um, baby measures about 16 centimetres, which is seven and a quarter inches from crown to rump, uh, and weighs about 300 grams, 10 and a half uh, ounces. And week 22 to 24, see this one's kind of lumped those next three weeks together, size of an aubergine, um, or an eggplant if you're American, uh, 11 to 12 inches. And this one says, week 22, measure, measure, baby measures about 19 centimetres, seven and a half inches from crown to rump and weighs, in a, a weight, and weighs about 350 grams, which is 12 and a quarter ounces. And now your baby has sweat glands and his skin is less transparent, although blood vessels can still be seen. Fingernails are now fully formed and continue to grow. There you go. That's all of that stuff. At week 21, I had um, my like 20 week scan, anomaly scan. Everything seemed pretty normal, but they couldn't really check the head um, because she was doing a headstand and refused to move. So, oh yeah, we're having a girl. If you haven't seen the gender video, um, gender reveal video, please have a look down below. Um, it's just a very short, silly video. So, yeah, she was kind of down, oh, her head was kind of down here somewhere, and she was hiding her head. So they couldn't really do all the measurements they needed to do. Um, they sent us away for 20 minutes, um, had lots of water. Apparently she told me to have something sugary, but I didn't hear that. Uh, so I d hadn't. Um, However, I don't think that would have made much difference because I'd had a smoothie and like a pastry before the scan anyway. So if the sugar was gonna cause her to move, it would have done that already. Um, she was kicking and, and kind of waving and whatever, but she was upside down and they couldn't measure her head. And when she was turning around, she had her hands all in her face and things, so yeah. That was on a Thursday and they put me in for 7.30 on the Monday morning for another one. <laughs> now, we go to uh, the JR hospital in Oxford and from here it takes, on a good day, it will take about 40 minutes, but there's quite a lot of roadworks at the minute and so yeah, it can be a pain in the bum. So I left at six o'clock on the Monday morning. I got there really early. <laughs> I was there before seven, um, sorted out the parking and things and kind of potted about for a bit and then went in. I was in there for about another half hour and she was in the same position <laughs> that she was on the Thursday. She was like, nope, I'm hiding my head again. Um, so the sonographer got someone else to come in and wow, she was putting quite a lot of pressure on. She had both her hands on the um, ultrasound thing, <laughs> Doppler 3 thing, I don't know, um, and was pushing really hard to try and get the baby to move and to get deep enough to get the measurements. They did get the measurements, luckily. And everything seems normal and fine and baby seems healthy, which we are very grateful for. And yeah, the second sonographer also confirmed that she was a girl. So that was good. Um, I mean, the only downside, I guess, of that that's, those scans were that because she was hiding her head, um, I, the pictures aren't very good. So um, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, she is healthy and she is fine, so that's all that really matters. And, yeah, we're super excited that we're having a girl! 
we would have also been really super excited for a boy, but you know. <laughs> um, if you've got any cute baby names, let me know below because we are not really decided. Although we won't be telling anyone, just so you know, um, until after the baby is born because, you know, you know what people are like with their opinions and whatnot. Um, so yeah, we'll be keeping that a secret. Um, I don't even think we're telling our parents. So yeah. Um, anything else to tell you? Well, the end of week 22, we went, oh no, middle of week 22, we went to the Common People Festival in Oxford, which again, you can see another video below about that. Um, and when Craig David was singing and doing his thing and we were standing up and that's the first time I felt Bobby kick me whilst I've been standing up or moving or whatever. Normally it's when I've been chilled out, um, kind of lying down or watching TV. Then she goes mental and has a little party. So yeah, usually just before I'm trying to get to sleep, she's going boom, 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 or whatever she's doing in there. Um, so yeah, she dances to Craig David. <laughs> husband's not not a fan so um yeah she, he's gonna love that when she's born and all she'll sleep to or whatever it's great David uh, we'll try on with some other music too uh, <laughs> so yeah I think that's kind of you brought pretty much up to date like I said in the last video currently I am now actually week I'm in my 23rd week so and I really 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 will attempt to keep my videos more up to date. I am so sorry, I have no excuse for why they're so late. Just, just a bit of laziness on not wanting to do my makeup <laughs> um, or I've just been really busy. But then there has been times where I could have done it and I haven't, so I'm sorry. I will be, I will be better. Um, maybe. Don't hold me to bit though, please. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you again for watching, remember to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that jazz and if you are also pregnant enjoy and please comment below if you've got any words of wisdom um, or any girly baby names, that would be great. Thank you guys, love you, bye!